Hi guys, so this is where we left off in the last video. We had created the navigation bar with two buttons over here. And we had created this Joomba transaction that had our main text and a call to action button over here. Just to recap, we're trying to recreate the site, but there are gonna be certain elements that we're gonna leave out just for speed and customization. Um, I downloaded this image into our folder um, right here to use as the background. But then since we're actually going to be using a white um, color for our font, and we're not going to do this overlay, I thought it best to use a different picture that will let our font stand out. So I actually downloaded this picture from AppSplash. Okay, good. So I'm going to rename this picture, let's say BG2, so our second background. And of course, uh, this is the logo that I downloaded from the site right here. Okay, so this Jumbo transaction, as I said in the previous video, just um, is there to highlight your text. And so let's go ahead and do something real quick. Let's center the text in this page. Bootstrap has a really handy style element. So instead, if you know if you weren't using Bootstrap, you probably will target this class over here, Jumbotron. And so you do something like Jumbotron and do text align center and save it and see. Uh oh, what's happening? Oh, there we go. So I haven't linked the style sheet yet. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do this. I copied that. And let's link a style sheet and know that I put it right under the bootstrap CDN so that the custom styles you write will overwrite CDN's um, uh, CSS. Obviously, cascading nature of CSS, you need to make sure this uh, then works this way. So when you come here, you have your text centered because we're targeting it over here and we're doing text align. But this is not a lot of code, it's just like two, three lines of code but bootstrap has a very handy shorthand. So I'm just gonna backspace this, and over here in the Jumbotron element, I'm just gonna add text center. And that centers the text for us. So instead of writing all that code, you can just include it in the class and it's centered right away. It's very nice to have, pretty handy. Good, so now let's go ahead and change the background image. Instead of writing my styles in the HTML, I'm going to use the other um, style sheet. So this time around, I'm going to select Jumbotron, I'm going to say background image, uh, use the URL option, dot dot, images, bg2, jpg, which is how we saved it. So let's see how it looks now. Uh, what are we missing? Oh, right here, I'm missing the G, B, G, 2. Oh, and there we go, that's a uh, background image. Obviously, it's hard to see because it's probably stretching it. So let's say background size, it's probably a cover. I don't know, let's see. One hell of an image, it takes forever to load. Okay, so now we can actually see it better. Um, this section here almost covers the entire page. So let's go ahead and increase the height of the Jumbotron section. So I'm going to say maybe about 80 would do. So let's see. There we go, it increases that section and we can see our image better. Uh, let's see, maybe 85. And then let's change the text to white. Now, same as before, instead of writing custom text, let's say target in the H1 element um, like this. And then doing color FFF. That's too long. We can just backspace that. Bootstrap has beautiful elements that you can actually use to set the color. And instead, I'll just add text white here and that would change our text to white there we go so you can see the white color over there great and we actually want to change the paragraph text to white as well but before we do that let's just copy this over here so beyond the source let's change that to be on the source let's copy the text beneath it and you report Okay. 
Let's see how that looks now. Okay, uh, image is making it really difficult for our site to load quickly. So I'm just going to use uh, image optim to try to optimize this image a little bit so that it's not that heavy. So let's drop that in here. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this so that our site loads faster. Do it again. On eight percent. It's just a heavy background. Okay. So let's change this to white as well. We can do the same thing and add text white to the class over here. Now you might have noticed the class lead that. Uh, special style element that CS, um, that Bootstrap adds to highlight a text. And so as the name suggests, maybe a lead text or something. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the line element over here and remove the second paragraph of text so that it's much easier. Let's see what it looks like now. Awesome, excellent. We are slowly getting there and we have our button over here and we have our text. Let's try to see if we can center this a little bit. But before we do that, um, let me explain the color options a little bit more. So if you come to the Bootstrap documentation and you go to utilities and you come all the way down to colors, Bootstrap gives you a list of options to use. So for this color, you use the class text primary. For this green, you use text success and so on. So you can take the time and go through um, the, the CSS and same thing uh, over here with background. So if you add a background of primary, you get this blue background. And that's actually the background that has been used for this button. Uh, as we go on, we're actually going to change the, the background for that button. Or, well, these guys are not a button, so we might take out the button in general. We might not use it at all. So let me just go ahead and do that. So as you can see, the button has this primary element that was responsible for the color. So let's go ahead. You know, on the second thought, I'm going to keep the button over there. It's just pretty cool to have. I would just remove the BTN primary element from there. And you see how that changes the, so that takes away, as you can see, the background. Um, or we can actually just keep it and I'll write new CSS to target it to make the background transparent. Okay, so there we have it. I personally want to add some pattern to the top. I'll add pattern of, let's say 10%. Now, if you don't want to manually add pattern, CSS once again has a lot of options for you to use. Let me show you. Now for pattern, here are the options you have. Now, um, in case you want to write pattern top instead of writing this you can just do pt that stands for pattern top and then you can add a number to it now the numbers are in rem so one rem two rem and three rem so if i write pt3 it's adding three to the top part of the element it's padding it by three so let's see how it works if i add P, T, three over here. Watch what happens. It drops the element by a little bit, just so that it's it's clear. Let's add that to the button. Let's see. As you can see, it creates some pattern on the top of the button. We don't need that. I'm going to backspace that. And it's not only for the top, so you have PT1, pattern top one, you can do PL1, that's pattern to the left, and then you can do PR1, pattern to the right, you can do P1, that's uh, not PD, sorry, PB, that's pattern to the bottom, and I believe you can do PA, which is all sides. And it's not only for pattern, you can do the margin as well, so MT1, which is margin top one, uh, ML1, margin left one, MLR, margin right, and MB, margin to the bottom, to add space into your element without having to write custom code. I'm just used to the old school way of adding pattern to the top through this element, so I did pattern top 10. 
Okay, so this is what our site looks like right now. Um, let's get in the in the next video. We're actually going to move down to the to the section, and we're going to try and recreate a couple of these things, and also this section how to position these things. That is where we will see the power of Bootstrap at work.